What's up guys? Today I'm gonna do a review on footprint socks. So as you can see, I'm kind of muffin topping over these right now with my massive calves. But these socks have shin guards built in so you don't have to wear some big, bulky, ugly shin guard over your sock that everybody's gonna notice. So as far as the feel goes with these, you don't really notice anything different um, you know with the feeling it just kind of molds to your shin there and you know footprint insoles are known for absorbing a lot of impact so I feel like these are gonna be pretty good but we're gonna test them out if somebody's really looking at your shins you can notice that there is something there you know you can see the stitching it's not completely invisible if this was like a black sock I could see um, people not noticing that you have a shin guard there but with a lighter color like this gray, you can definitely tell that there's something there. So I skated in these a little bit. I definitely hit myself in the shin a few times. I was trying this pressure flip over this hip. And I've never actually done a pressure flip over a hip. I've done pressure flips on banks. I've done pressure flips on flat. And I've done pressure flips off of like small ledges and stuff like that. But I've never actually done one on a hip. So I hit myself in the shin pretty hard several times and it still hurt you know it didn't hurt as bad if i didn't have these socks on my shin would be in a lot of pain right now but it's actually fine now it, it was hurting a little bit at the time because i was hitting myself over and over in the shin but these shin guard socks did take a lot of the impact away and they, they saved my shins on this particular trick. I did feel a little bit more comfortable doing flip tricks with these on my shins just because they did add that extra protection. So, so I wasn't as scared to hit myself in the shin. So the amount of protection in the shin guard is really good. It absorbs a lot of impact, but I just wish it was a little bit wider. I wish it wrapped around the leg a little bit because I hit myself in the side of the shin a lot. Now that's not directly hitting the bone. You know, it's going through a little bit of meat, a little bit of muscle in my calf, but it still hurts. You know, when you hit just right on the side of that shin guard, if it was just a little bit wider, wrapped around the shin a little bit more, it would be a lot better. If you want something that's low profile, these are definitely better than having a full shin guard under your sock. If you've got a full shin guard under your sock, unless you have long baggy pants, people are gonna notice. And if your goal is to have a shin guard and have no one notice that you've got shin guards on, this thing will work. Also, if it's cooler than like 90 something degrees like it is here, you could just wear long pants and nobody's gonna notice these. They work well for what they're for, protecting your shins. So if you're somebody that hurts your shins a lot, I would suggest you get some of these. They definitely work. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like this kind of content, reviews, tutorials, and videos about what I'm learning as I grow as a skateboarder, then hit that subscribe button and thanks for watching.